Hello, Maria. Good evening. I, I I didn't pay attention that my microphone was off. Ah, so. no, no problem, no problem. Hello, Marcela. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Hello, Ruth. I think Ruth is in this moment still connecting. Gladys, good evening. Yes, yes, good evening. Okay. Wow, I'm amazed with just how many people are so responsible. That's wonderful. Yeah, no, believe me, believe me. I know sometimes people are, are <laughs> a little bit uh, late <laughs> when we begin the classes. So it's great to see everybody here. Roxana, hello, nice to see you. Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Roxana. Nice to see Hello. you, Roxana. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and then... uh, Roxana, those are some beautiful flowers behind you. Are they natural? No. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I thought, wow, this is very interesting, uh, you know, maintaining the flowers. Okay. No. They, they okay. are like... Paper, paper flowers, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but they look, they look real. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Good. Well, my name, um, I think we'll get more people in a few moments, but I'll begin. So we take advantage of our time. Uh, my name is Edwin Cubias, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, and then we'll start off with an introduction from everybody. Um, I, I, live in El Salvador um, since 2002. Um, before that, I lived in the U.S. I lived in New York for a few years, and then I lived in Wisconsin. Um, New York, uh, about five years. I think most people know where New York is. Wisconsin is usually more difficult, uh, but people can think of Chicago, and north of Chicago, that's where it was. Very, very cold. Very cold, believe me. <laughs> it's worse than Canada, worse than Alaska. Um, and I have been working with uh, Inglés Cooperativo for some time now, for uh, a little bit of time, um, as well as I have been teaching. I teach um, in other institutions. I teach uh, for, I have been teaching for almost 18 years now, 18. Um, I started in 2001 and now 2020, so about 19. I actually was a originally uh, a math instructor and when I was teaching in the United States I was a teacher there um, and I taught math um, for people in high school and then I came to El Salvador and then nobody wanted an English math teacher everybody wanted an English teacher so I had to teach English so then I learned more about the language as well. Um, I'm, I'm married, I have three children I have one granddaughter, in case I don't look, I'm, a, I'm already a grandfather. Well, oh, wow. going to be a grandfather two times. I, in January, he's going to be born the new baby, the new grandson. And I have a granddaughter as well. Um, you know, and that's pretty much a little bit about me, uh, uh, about my family. I love teaching. I have been doing it for many years. And I think that one of the best things is that I get to meet new people every time, every course, I meet new people. And I learn more about different professions because as a teacher, uh, I, I teach English, but I learn about accounting and mechanics and industrial and different things. So um, I don't know who would like to introduce themselves. Don't be scared. It's okay. <laughs> that's why we're yeah. here. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't have to be as long. Don't worry. It can be shorter if you want. It doesn't have to be, you know, so much. Me, Sarah. <laughs> All right, Sarah, go for it. Um, I'm Sarah Ruiz. I'm a single mother. She's my beautiful daughter. Hello. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, um, I am 34 years old 
And I work like instructor, but is I'm instructor of new programs uh, software, and uh, I teach uh, AutoCAD, Office, and Photoshop, and all kind of programs like that, SketchUp, and something like that. And, uh, I love uh, study, and I love learn, and I love talk. <laughs> And you're going to know that in later. <laughs> and some uh, partners that was in, were in the last uh, unit or the last course, or I don't know, how do you say curso? Yes, the uh, last course. The last course, they know me. <laughs> and, and I just want to teach and, uh, no, sorry, learn. And I, I'm going to be here. To everybody if I can help. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sara. Thank you for being the first volunteer and getting that out. Wonderful, wonderful. Who else would like to go ahead and follow Sara? Me, Maria. All right, Maria. Okay, my name is Maria Isabel. I am a retired teacher, but I keep working. Even so, I keep working. Um, I live with only one son, the youngest of the, all of them. I am also a grandma. My grandson is six months old, is the first one. And uh, the second one is coming in February. Okay. And there's a lot of fun. So now that if I, I keep working, when I got retired, I, I was working in my home with teaching uh, like a tuition, just one student or two students. And after that, I have uh, I came back a couple of times uh, to the same school where I was retired. So that's why I'm here because this year I'm still working with them again. And in the last course, your your academy kicked me out. Oh, Maria, what happened? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. But the document, the documents, the papers, and things were not as Insafor wanted. So oh. they so polite and so sweet called me and say, "Please don't log in any longer. We will let you know the next the next course. If you have the documentation and all the things that you may need, then you could come back." So the last week when they called me, and and they say, "Okay, we are calling you for." for your classes the next week. And I said, okay, are you going to kick me out again? If no, I don't log in. And I said, no, no, at this time the documents are, are fine. So you are in the list. So I'm back. All right. Well, great to have you back, Maria. Great to meet you. So I'm glad we're going to be together. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Well, let's have two more people. Who else? We need two more. Hmm. It looks like we get to pick. <gasps> That's wonderful. I love to take volunteers. Okay. Let's see. I, I see that maybe we need some male participation because we've only had two females and they're the ones who have spoken. <clears throat> All right. Eric, are you ready? Hello. Okay, Eric. Hello. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Well, my name is Eric Celada, and I was in the last course training. So uh, today we're starting out the next uh, module. So I'm hoping to be sharing with uh, my old partners and co-workers and uh, with you. I suppose you're the, our new teacher. And I expect to have a great time. Uh, with you learning English. Great. Eric, what is it that you do? You said co-workers, so I imagine maybe there are a few others that work with you. Yeah, well, it, there were some uh, people that we work in the same uh, place. And when I said, <laughs> I didn't figure out that I say co-workers. I, 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 when I say co-worker, I was meaning, it was meaning to my, my, my partners. Okay. The, the whole group that we were taking classes before. Okay, perfect. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much, Eric. Any other volunteers?
Okay, then let's have Andrea because Andrea, I love Andrea that you're making faces. Yeah, I can see the facial expression. You're very expressive, so I can tell that you want to speak because you're going. Mm, no, mm, teacher. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting that some of my partner were going to talk about them. Well, you can you can talk about yourself. No, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, so good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrea. Um, I am 25 years old. I am an architect and I'm looking forward to learn on this course with you, with all of you. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Andrea. You see, very easy to get to know each other. And you know, it's a great practice to do it in class because if you have to do it in public or you have to do it in a business meeting or you have to do it on the telephone, it's more difficult. It's easier to start getting more and more comfortable practicing, you know, introducing yourself. What do you do, your profession? Just because it's normal routine. It's a uh, it's conversation that you have with a stranger. Oh, where are you from? What do you do? What's your profession? You know, just normal things just to feel comfortable with it okay um i'm sure you can see that the class is getting bigger and bigger i'm sure it'll probably be bigger by the end of the the class and we'll get more people in but we're going to go ahead and get started and take a look at a couple of things um, the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the platform uh, in order to make sure does everyone have access to the platform has everybody been able to get into the platform not yet in my case. Okay, who who said that? It was me, Eric. Okay, Eric. Okay, perfect. Eric, you you don't have access yet. They haven't given you the the your username. The no, password? I, I, I haven't. I haven't the chance to do it. Okay. Of course, I I'm, I'm gonna have a chance, okay. the opportunity to do it, but uh, I'll do it later. All right, all right, just want to make sure, okay? Uh, anybody else that hasn't, I mean, in, in this case, because he hasn't logged in, but does everybody, did everybody receive the email with your information in order to get in and the module? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Well, I'm going to discuss just in case. Um, I'm, I heard many of you mentioned that you had already been in the previous module, so I'm sure a lot of the information may, is probably repetitive and you probably heard it, but just to make sure. Um, we have our course, which is pre-advanced module three. Imagine, imagine pre-advanced. That means they finish this and then it's too advanced. <gasps> wow almost a few months away from graduating. All right. Well, that's the one, one thing that's first exciting. The next thing is how it's breaking up. In here, we have different parts. When you want to take a look at your grade, you want to see your progress, you want to see the evaluations, you're going to click where it says progress. In the part where it says progress, in your part, it's going to give you the grade, okay? So for example, here it says, oh, progress for the student, Edwin Cubillas, that's me. My name is Edwin, that's mine, okay? And then it's going to tell me how I'm doing. It's going to tell me how I'm doing for each activity, for um, my midterm exam. It's going to tell me how I'm doing for the final. And then it's going to give me a total of everything, okay? So if I'm not clear on how it is, I can continue to go down and then it would tell me for each section, section one, how much I scored for each part and section two and so on. Do you remember what is the minimum grade in order to pass, in order to get your diploma? 80. 80. Correct. It's correct. It is 80. Very good. Now, the great, the great thing about the platform is not a single answer. That means that if you have an incorrect answer, you are permitted to go again and fix the answer. You are permitted to go back and correct the mistakes. Because the important is that you learn. Now, with this in mind, what the way to learn or the best way to learn is not to correct it in the moment. Don't correct it in the moment. If you have a mistake, learn and realize what the mistake is, but don't correct it in the moment because most of the time when you correct it in the moment, it's just a guessing game. It's just a thing marine. It's just, oh, this is wrong, so now I'm going to put B. What you want to do, because we want to learn, we don't want to have the correct answers. 
So the best thing is the next day or two days later, go back and do the activity. And if you can correct it at that time, then you learned and then you know that you have learned the correct information. If at that time you still have a mistake, okay, now it's time to evaluate why. What was the, is it the same mistake that you are making? Is it something that else that is happening? Is something you didn't understand? And that's why I'm here, okay? My, the idea for me to be in the class is because the important is to give you support for the platform, okay? This is the main objective of me being here. It's for you to be able to work and advance in the platform and I help you. I assist you if you have a problem, if you don't understand, to help you to make sure you're on track, okay? Your grade is not by me. I do not give you the grade. I do not assign the grade. I have zero with the grade. The grade is only exclusively on the platform. So as an example, if Maria doesn't come to class tomorrow, Wednesday, um, Thursday, Friday, Okay, this is for Maria, but she still has to complete the platform because I am only extra help. Okay, now if Maria says, no, 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 for section one, I understand. I don't need to go to class this week or I don't need to go to class today. Okay, that's fine. Now, unfortunately for Maria, she also loses the part where she can participate, where she can practice speaking, where she can practice listening, where we can do other things, okay? That's the benefit of coming to class. That's why you should try to come every day. If you can't, you know, things happen. It's part of life. It's, sometimes it's impossible for our job, our family, we are sick, different things, but that's the important part. So, as you can see, we have different ideas. Now, in this module, okay, we are going to begin with section one. Section one has a little introduction video. Okay, this is going to help us understand and what we're going to begin with pre-advance and to make sure that everybody's understanding. Do, are you, let's see, I, I see most of you um, it seems that you're on the computers. Is there anybody that is receiving the class on the cell phone? Me, Eric, I'm receiving this time in the cell phone, but I'm trying to get in the, in the computer. Me, Sara. Okay, Sara and too. Eric and Andrea. Sara, Eric, and Andrea. Okay. Me too. Ah, okay, okay. Like. I, I see, I see. I see some other people that raise their hand. Okay. All right. The reason I ask on the cell phone, because sometimes on the cell phone, it's a little bit more difficult to do the exercise at the same time we are in the class. Okay. So if it's not possible for you to do the exercise at the same time, it's okay. You can try to do them later. But the important is that you pay attention and you know. Okay. If you are on the computer, it's probably easier for you because you have a big screen and you can minimize one and work in the other at the same time. Sorry, sorry, uh, a question. Yes, Karen. Uh, Heidi. Hi, sorry, Heidi. Yes. Heidi. Tell me. This link, do you send to everybody in the email or to WhatsApp? The, sorry, Heidi, which link? Not this link, it's video. This is the video, yes. This ah, is, okay, sorry. Uh -huh. no, no problem. This is the, the, this is the video from the platform. This is the video from the platform. And we have many of the activities and the dialogues are also from the platform, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're also going to be working in small groups. Did you work in small groups in the previous module where we have the little breakout rooms? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. okay, great. So everybody knows that when you receive the invitation, you need to accept in order to go to the little rooms, to the smaller rooms. The objective of the small rooms is to give you more opportunity to practice speaking and listening. That is the idea for those. Yes, Ruth, do you have a question? Yeah, good evening, everyone. Um, I have a dog because it, it is my first time huh. uh, studying in, in this course. So I just want to know 
uh, about the platform because I receive in my class on my cell phone and I try to start learning in the platform uh, today in the morning but uh, my I don't know if it's my cell phone or the platform it doesn't work uh, well it's too slow and when I try to or I mean I don't understand if I can um, answer in 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 each uh, lesson or if it if don't if I don't have to send uh, an answer every day. Okay. Okay, Ruth. Thank you very much for your question. No, you don't have to send an answer every day. The platform is designed for you to advance with your time. So maybe today you can advance, uh, you can advance, let's see, up to unit four, 1.4, but tomorrow you cannot work. Something happened. And then the next day you advance only two, but on Friday or Saturday, you have a lot of time and you advance all the way to 12. That is okay. The platform is designed for you to advance according to your time. Now, yes, you should be able to answer the questions here, even with your cell phone. Um, I think the other people that use the cell phone have also, uh, in the previous model, um, they have been able to complete all of the activities on the cell phone. Is a computer in order to do it. Um, let me think. The other question that you had was uh, how the platform works, the, the, the structure. The, the main idea of the platform is to be able to give you an organization of what you need to learn and space or exercises for you to practice those different activities. Ruth, did I answer all of your questions? I'm not sure if I missed one. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Ruth. You're um, welcome. Uh, good evening. Um, I have a question too. Okay. Um, my name is Miriam Flamenco, and this is my first time in this course. Uh, and in the progress tab, it says that I'm enrolling the audio track for this course and doesn't include a certificate. But what, what does this mean? It's because I'm, um, what it means that. Okay, Miriam, what, can you please repeat what, what was the message? That you, <clears throat> mm -hmm. In the progress tab, Mm -hmm. Here in the platform, yes. it says that I'm enrolled only as an audio track. Uh, and it doesn't include a certificate, it says. It means that I'm just um, a, listening, uh, a listener or uh, uh, you won't give us um, certificates for this course. Medium, are you on the computer or on the cell phone? I'm in the cell phone and I'm seeing the computer. Okay. The platform in the computer. Okay. All right. The the reason I ask is so that maybe you could share or I could see. I don't I Okay. Mhm. Mm uh, okay, wait. Sure. And I see that pa Patricia, this is also your first time. Okay. Welcome Patricia. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Patricia de Carranza. Uh, for me, like uh, Ruth, uh, it's my first time in this class. Um, I, I, have, I have not practiced English. For me, it's very difficult it's way speaking and understand, but speak uh, is, is, is more difficult for me. Okay, don't worry. Okay, We're can going... you see it? Yes, yes, Sorry. I can. Yes, yes, okay. no problem. Well, thank you, Patricia. I'm glad we're going to give you opportunity to, to practice speaking. Thank you, Miriam. I can see it. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, in that, that is what exactly 
in your case, that's what it means. Um, we need to speak to um, the Jonathan, who is the technical person, to make sure they modify you. That okay. way. Teacher, teacher I'm yes. seeing the same. I'm having the same problem as Ruth. I just uh, log in in the platform, and I just uh, look that it says that I'm as assistant and not uh, not going to to have a certificate of this course. Okay, so the same thing. We're going to. Everybody should have a certificate of the course. If not, there is a, we need to make sure that the enrollment was correct. Um, not so much from Insofor, but maybe the technicians, they, they didn't include the correct uh, resource or data, okay? So, if, does uh, Andrea, are you, and Miriam, are you in the WhatsApp group? Uh, yes, yes. Mm, yes I, I think that I don't. Mm, it if you're don't worry if if you are not in the WhatsApp group, okay, in the email that they give you the information, there is a link. Only you click on it, and then you can add to the group. The reason I mentioned is because in the WhatsApp group there is a person specifically to uh, to fix these problems. Okay, um, when you check in there, it says, um, I I don't know if you can see. But in the bottom of the group, it says, uh, Elena, in the, you're going to see a message. And in the bottom of it, it's going to tell you the name of the person. This is Elena Mendez. Elena Mendez is the coordinator. Um, but you don't have to write to her uh, directly. You can write to the one who can write to is also Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan is usually the one who, who is able to answer the questions. So the easiest way, medium or uh, Andrea or anybody else, Patricia, anybody else that has the same problem is put into the WhatsApp group. That way, Jonathan, when he checks the groups, ah, okay. Or even, f not even for that, or you put in there and then I can forward to Jonathan phone number directly. Okay, so the best way, okay. uh, medium, when you put into the group and Andrea, please take a screenshot with a, with a photo that way it's clear, that way Jonathan understands clearly. You are receiving this message and you, it says you will not receive certificate. So that way he knows, ah, okay, I need to change so that you can receive the certificate and you have access to all of the data and all of the, the things. I don't know if it's, I don't know if in this form you don't have access to videos or exercises or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, okay. Don't worry, it's our first day. Always there's a lot of questions, a lot of things. We're going to practice in a moment. Are, are there any other questions or any other comments first? No? Okay, that's great. For those that are new, um, also the same on your cell phone as on your computer, there's a part where you're allowed to have, it says reactions. If you look on the bottom, there's a little part where it says more, or if it's in Spanish, it says mas, or, and next to it, sometimes there's a little place that says reactions. There, you can put little symbols. For example, like the one that you see on my screen, you can put, hey, hey, good, or you can put, uh, you know, hey, you, you applaud somebody, great, uh, excellent, okay? So usually, the, the best way is because we are so many people that sometimes it's just, uh, I ask, for example, did everybody understand? Is, is it okay? And it's difficult for everybody to answer speaking. So it's easier just to, as an example, did everybody understand where to find their grades? And then, then I know that there are no questions. That's usually the, an easy way to do it, okay? If you don't know how, or if you don't know where, it's okay. It's not a problem. You can show me with your finger if you want personally, or you can say it. It just makes it things a little bit easier. Now, I noticed that many people see, we have, I think it was four people that are new. Okay. Do the other people, do you know each other? For example, uh, Marcela, do you know Roxana? Eric, do you know Freddy? Yes. The others? 
Miriam, do you know Heidi? No. No, no you don't know Heidi. No. Ah, okay, okay. So, you are new, Miriam, or Heidi is new? No, I am new. Okay, all right. That's perfect. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to try to do is, as I was mentioning, we were looking at the objectives. We're looking at time clauses. Um, today was going to be an introduction to time clauses. Does anybody know what that is? When we're talking about time clauses, do you know what, what we're referring to? No. No? I don't know. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. So what is it? Time clauses. Oh, maybe, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Maybe, maybe we knew, but, uh, but we don't know that the name is time clauses. <laughs> exactly. Many, ah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. So many times this is what happens that you know the things, but you don't know the technical words. So time clauses are those words that help us indicate a time or a pattern. As an example, before, after, until, then, next. These are like- We the, know that. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. You know that. And that's what makes it really easy because there are many times things that you know and only you need to include more information, okay? So many times we use words like once or um, it, this is the most famous one for the stories, right? Once upon a time, okay? Or there, there was a long time ago, things like this, okay? This is going to be our first parts of our lessons, our time clauses. So what we want to do is we're going to practice a conversation. I'm going to show my screen with you so that everybody can understand where we are. Okay. The best way is when we make partners is if one of you can share your screen, it makes it easier to follow for both of you. But if not, then each person has to go and see it individually. Okay. So as an example, I am in lesson one. Okay, I am doing 1.1 because the 1.0 is just the objective, okay? And the objective is, okay, in this class, participants will listen to a conversation where time clauses are used in context. And what did we say were time clauses? Are words that tell us the order, words that help us indicate when something happened. That's really the idea for it responsibilities but then for example here is ours okay here's our conversation Let's see if i can minimize this i need here we're going to do an example so that you know what to do in your groups i need two people to volunteer one to be alan and one to be carol who would like to be alan I want to be. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. So you are Alan and I need one other person to be Carol. Me? Okay. Great. <clears throat> right? Right now? Yes, right now. Okay. <laughs> so what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid. I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I, I never had any important responsibility. But then I went off the college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature, mature after I got my first job. It moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where do you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Mm, maybe not so independent, huh? He works for his dad <laughs> at the bank. <laughs> okay. 
So here mm. we, can, we can see that we use several different times, okay? We can use those by uh, the words like then, um, the words are like once, uh, the previous words, all of those words, they refer to the time. The, another one is like where Carol says, well, until I graduated, this is telling us different things, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to practice this conversation with our partners in the groups. We're going to practice it two times. One time I'm going to be Alan and my partner is Carol and then we change. Then I am Carol and my partner is Alan. After we are clear, then the idea is that we create and answer the questions ourselves. So as an example, I say to, uh, to Sara, so Sara, what were you like when you were younger? And then Sara tells me her answer, not the answer from the conversation. Okay, so we have two, two activities that we're gonna do. One, practice this conversation. Where do we find this conversation? This is for our first lesson, 1.1 in the platform, okay? Now, if you don't have this because for some of you, maybe you're on your cell phone or you are somewhere else, don't worry. Because I take a picture right now of the conversation and I have sent it to the WhatsApp. So if you are in your WhatsApp, you can also read it in the WhatsApp, okay? Yes. Always, everything has a solution, okay? So if you are on yourself, question. yes. I am in the platform and the computer, but what I see but, uh, under the topic, I was really immature. I only can see a video, but not the, the screen you are showing where it is. It's the video. You need to advance. And in the video, you're going to see the, that conversation happens at about 30 seconds in the video. Okay. okay, I found it. Thank you. Of course. Of course. So one more time. What are we going to do? We're going to make partners. We're going to practice the conversation. And then we're going to practice asking and answering our own questions to our partners and getting to know a little bit about the previous, how they were before. Are there any questions? No, oh. teacher. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's wonderful. Let's see if we have everybody then. Okay. So only accept, and then you will be able to go to your groups. Vanessa, are you having problems? Huge problem because everybody was complaining about that. But yeah, it's, good. it's easier now. And what mm -hmm. if somebody is from our country is coming back because was under the quarantine in someplace else, and now they are coming back, but they don't have the the test or the result. They, they should. I I guess that they will let them in anyway because they live here. 
what what will it yeah. do yeah they 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 have for example in guatemala they are letting you to get in the in the country if you don't have the test result they made you a test in the airport and it's free for you they only get you the 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 answer a few days later later so you you must stay in guatemala a few days a couple of days but you will lose the yeah. you will lose the, the your flight maybe mm. I, I'm not sure about that, See. but it's not your, is Guatemala is not your final destination. You can uh, you can make the connection to the next flight. Mm. Only if you if Guatemala is your last destination, then you have to make the test. If not, if you're if that not, you're not. Uh huh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Do you want to be Alan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. There you go. I was really in. I'm. I'm not how. How. I'm not sure how to pronounce the word. Immature will be. Immature. Immature. Correct. Immature. We have oh, to practice okay. once with this dialogue, Celia. Oh. Okay. So, are you going to be Alan, and I'm going to be Carol? Okay. Okay. So let me. Ask because I, I lived with my with my uh, parents, but I think I I get a little bit mature. <laughs> yes, well, I guess it was something uh, something pretty similar. After I got mature, oh, immature when I was a teenager. So, what made made you change? I think I became more mature. I have to change my thinking. And I think that it's because I have to grow up that I change my mind. And what about you? What made you change? Mm. I think I became more mature when I got my first job. Okay. I want to be independent. Uh, and that's the the main reason. And my first job wasn't. So what made you make wait? So what made you change? I think I became more measure after I got my first job. I moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Okay. Okay. Good. Only the pronunciation is mature. Ma. Ma mature. mature. Yes, mature. Mature. Mm -hmm. And the irresponsible. I irresponsible. Yes, irresponsible. Irresponsible. Mm -hmm. irresponsible. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. So good. Now you practice talking about yourselves. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> how about you, Patty? I I was very responsible too, like you. <laughs> oh, and really? Yeah, I don't like to study like a lot, and my teachers never said that I was so smart. But <laughs> <laughs> but I was very responsible with everything and. And never need to that somebody uh, like be present for me. Like um, you have to do this, you have to study, you have a test. 
In the pen. Where do you work? I work it off my hat at the bank. Okay, that's right. right. My English is so difficult. I <laughs> this is so difficult for me to speak. And that's okay. I'm I'm the same. I I, I lost. I'm. Can you tell me again? If uh, anybody from your work from the bank, it's also in the class. Besides you, anybody work from, in from your work from the uh -huh. bank where you work? Where is the name? No. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, if anybody, uh, something, uh, if somebody else from your work, it's in this class too. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Marce, why don't you try writing it into the chat to help Freddie understand? Okay. I, I will stop sharing. Mm. comes through <laughs> okay okay yes yes and are you a responsible person yes always in your past are where you are Okay, great. I heard many of you had the opportunity to practice a little bit and work on it. That's great. Okay. Are there any questions, any parts, or any words, or maybe your answers that you weren't clear on how to make your answers? Teacher, I just uh, going to say to you that, that I send the number phone of Claudia because I have the question. Sorry, because because what? She is in on the WhatsApp group. Yes, but it's because she doesn't want to be. Because I don't add the people. The people click on the link if they want to be part of the group. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Remember in the in the email where you receive the information for the class, for the platform, in there is the WhatsApp group. So if Claudia wants to be part of the group, is we don't add the, the group is open. Only she says, I, I want to be part of this group. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I will do it. Yes, Claudia. So, Next. Uh -huh, when, when you check the, the email that you received for, for this class in one of the parts, it says WhatsApp group, only you click. And then automatically you are in the group. Okay, okay. But if you have problems uh, connecting, let me know, and I will I will go through you with, with I will go step by step with it. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me. This is my first uh, class. No, no problem. No, excuse me. It's okay. Is this is the job? You are the student. We are learning together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else have any other questions or any comments? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Gladys. 
Uh, how do you say estudioso in English? Uh, someone who studies a lot is normally they call a bookworm. A book and then worm. This is the like like, like, like the worm, like mm -hmm. the like the the insect that the birds eat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, this is the idea for bookworm. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone that like eats book? Exactly. This is, like, oh. this is the idea, somebody who eats books, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like this. So it's, it's the same idea for somebody who studies a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Great. Now, I know we saw several words in there. We saw some of the words like in time expressions, like once, then, uh, I heard some of you use other ones. I, I would like for each of you to give me an example using one of the time words, which whatever one you want. Describe a little bit before, like you can use the word before or after or then or next, whatever word you feel comfortable with. We're going to begin with Marcela. Okay, Marcela? No, okay. No, but no, but okay, okay. <laughs> uh, can you repeat it, please? Yeah, of course, Marce. Only I need you to use one. I need you to make one sentence with a time expression. Okay. Um, uh, once I went to the zoo. Oh, excellent. Did you like it? Yes, a lot. <laughs> okay. But I'm, I'm not like, uh, I, I don't agree with, with Sus, but I, I like it. Okay. All right. Very good, Marce. And Marce is a good example of what we need to work on. Now, Marce's answer is correct. The grammar is correct. The pronunciation was correct. The only problem, Marce, that we need to work on is when you're thinking to give your answer. Because when you're thinking to give your answer, you are going slowly. But when I ask you something, you are, yes, of course, I love ah, very different. So only you need, we were going to work a little bit of that. Marisa, pick the next person. You are the person that select the volunteers. Oh, I don't like this, but okay. Um, I don't like it, but, mm, but you are going to be next. <laughs> Um, Karen. Ah, so now I understand. I don't like you, Karen, is the original sentence. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Marcelina. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Go ahead. I want uh, you to well, like this, Karen. No, 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 Karen is the teacher. Uh, no, no, okay. it's me, it's me, Karen, it's me. <laughs> okay, a long time ago, I used to have fun with my friends a lot. Exactly. Very good, Karen. Okay. Choose the next person, Karen. Mm, let me see. Um, who, who was it, Karen? Miriam. Okay. Many years ago, I got married. So Oh, very good. Exactly. Many years. I won't say how, how much. Many years ago. Many years ago. Are you still married, Miriam? Yes. Oh, still. well, congratulations. That's wonderful. It's time to celebrate. That's excellent. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. I think everybody understands where we can use these. These are the time expressions. Now, also time expressions are used to join two sentences. We normally use them um, in different points, okay? Uh, we can use them at the beginning of a sentence or sometimes